Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Monday, July 9th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and this will not resonate with every single person, okay? If you feel negative about the reading, then this reading is not for you. Okay, if it doesn't if it doesn't make you feel good, if it if you get any feeling, then the reading isn't for you. If you get any feeling that it's not right, then it's not right. Okay, then it is what it is. This reading is for somebody. If you get a feeling that it is right, then it's right. Okay, and that's a message. Follow your gut. If, it's, if you get a feeling that it's right, it's right. And this is in life. If you get a feeling that it's not right, it's not right. That's a message. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm just going to leave that right here. Okay. Somebody is releasing themselves from a toxic situation, or they're thinking about it. They've put in, they've put in all the effort that they can possibly come put in. No, no forward movement is being taken. It's like there's no more growth in this, this arena. Therefore, I have to give up it and follow a new path. Okay? It's the same theme that we've been hearing. There's somebody is restoring control, removing themselves from a toxic situation. This is, this is freedom. I'm free. I'm free to be happy. I'm free to, to explore new opportunities. So I feel as though for somebody, they free themselves. They free themselves from a situation that they've been tied to that was holding them back. There was no further action that could be taken. It was, it was keeping them uh, stuck for no reason, okay? There was, there was no excitement in that, that arena. Although they put in a lot of effort to hold on to it, I think that somebody was determined to make it work, but they have come to the conclusion that there's nothing they can do that the, you know that I have to look at this from a new perspective now perhaps I need to to cut this out of my life I see the truth I have received the clarity that I am dealing with a situation where there is no passion okay there's no passion left there so I feel as though somebody has is probably going through a period of detachment withdrawal uh, maybe emotional coldness as they release, okay? I'm releasing, therefore I probably need to do this alone on my own time. Um, I feel like somebody has a lot of doubt in their head that, that they're probably going to find a new exciting opportunity, but you are. There is somebody better suited for you right around the corner. If you allow this to release, you have to release to bring back structure to your life, to bring back control, you have to let go of something that isn't that you were, that was karmic, that you were once tied to, that is no longer meant for you. Okay, it kind of goes with what I, what I was saying at the beginning. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I mean, that's what this is about. I feel like somebody has received some sort of clarity or truth, whether this is inner clarity that you receive from your inner guide or from another person. You have received some sort of, of truth that probably allows you to let go of something that you have held on to for quite some time. I feel that whatever you have held on to has brought some disorganization, some chaos to your life has been really overwhelming to to play with and now you know it's like you know what I have to be I have to be assertive here I have to be strong and I have to do what's right for me 
So I feel as though somebody has received the clarity, the information, the the inner knowing that it's time for me to find a new, more exciting, positive opportunity. I'm heading I'm heading down a a new exciting road. I, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for excitement. I'm looking for um, adventure. And I think that somebody has been stuck in a situation that there's no more. There's there's no more passion left here. I, I can't stay here. I can't stay here. I'm 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 going to I'm going to be practical. I'm going to be responsible and I'm looking for something stable and secure. So I feel as though somebody is is giving up on playing a game with the devil or with something that was a lie, something that was toxic. I'm I'm not going to play this game anymore. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to even think about it anymore. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to walk away. So I feel as though somebody is cutting somebody out and headed down a new path that is much better suited for them. It promises growth. It promises excitement. Okay. I feel as though um, there's there's an exciting new discovery that you know there's a it's like this new discovery that comes about is kind of like it's a challenge. It's like a dare, and it's like I I really want to accept this dare. I I. You're, it's like the universe is, is is throwing this chance at you, and it's it's your chance to do it or not. It's true. It's it. You know. Do you want to do it? Do you accept this dare? This is an opportunity that dares you. It's a dare. Do you dare? So I feel like today is a day of asserting yourself to do what is right for you, okay? So, yeah, I think that you are be give, being giving, you are being given a new opportunity through clarity. There's been a lack of passion, there's been a lack of focus, there's been a lack of drive. Somebody has not fulfilled your wishes. And now it's time to move on. It's time to release. Stop holding on and go after this new opportunity. We have all the signs here. All of them. Earth, air, fire, and water. So we have all the signs. But I can truly see that somebody has held on to a toxic situation. And now they're letting it go. I mean, it's clear as mud. And there's a new opportunity right around the corner that is much, much better suited for you. So we're going to get some angel romance cards. You know, it can be a little scary. I think it is a little scary that to step onto this new path. But it's an opportunity that can lead to something wonderful. Somebody is sick of loneliness. I've been lonely for too long. I'm sick of playing games. I don't want to play games. I want happiness. And there is a happy opportunity right around the corner. There really is. Something that, you know, you may receive an invitation that you can't pass up. But it's a little bit scary. So I think that there, there will be an invitation that you probably can't pass up. That will not resonate with everybody. But like I said, if it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You know. Your intuition will tell you instantly if it's right or if it's wrong. Oh my gosh. This situation involves marriage. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Amazing. Amazing. 
today I feel like is it's a new day. It's a new day, and it's just, this this reading can last throughout the whole week. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, and I have to tell you that I think this is somebody new. I do. And it's somebody that you have called in, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I think you know who this person is. I think this is somebody new coming into your life. I do not think that this is an ex because somebody is re removing themselves from a toxic situation. They're removing themselves from something that was a false bond. It wasn't meant to be. It was karmic. It was karmic. And I know some of you will say, oh, no, 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 my ex has been with his karmic. No, no, that's not the case. Don't, don't point the finger in that direction. The truth is being revealed. It's time to release. Let go of what you have held on to so tightly. And allow this new opportunity with somebody that you are very much better suited for to unfold. This could be the one. You get to know each other and it could lead to marriage. It's somebody that you have called in. There was no action, no forward movement happening, and there still isn't with this karmic, with this toxic situation, what has held you back. There's no forward movement. It's done. It's over. And it's time to stop playing games. Somebody has called in their soulmate, and they're here. Congratulations. Talk to you later.